In this video, we will learn to graph a parabola given the equation, and we will determine the vertex, focus, and directrix. So looking at number nine, we can see that the x is squared. That means this is either up or down. Because everything is positive, we know that this is going to be an upward facing parabola. Um, see how it's just x squared and y? There's no x plus 3 squared or um, 4 times y minus 1. That means the vertex must be 0 comma 0. Okay, so here's the vertex. All right, the vertex is 0 comma 0. Um, now let's find the p value. We know that um, 4p equals this number right here. It equals the 4. That means uh, dividing both sides by 4, we have p is equal to 1. That means we should be able to go up 1 and find the focus. So it's going to be really close. OK, so um, and 4 is the, also the focal width. So that means I should be able to go 2 to the right and 2 to the left. So here is a basic sketch of the parabola. The directrix should be the same distance in the opposite direction. OK. So um, that's really it. Let's just label everything. So the directrix is the horizontal line, so that's y equals negative 1. Um, we already have the vertex. OK. Um, the focus is here at 0, comma 1. All right, so we have the focus, vertex, and directrix. I think I'll put the info off to the side instead. All right, look at number 10. See how the y is squared? That tells me that it's one of those sideways parabolas. Um, since everything is positive, I know that this is going to be going to the right. Now, I have y squared, I have x. The vertex must be 0, comma 0. Now, it would be useful to know the p value today. So 4p is equal to this 40. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get that p is equal to 10. OK. <clears throat> That 10 tells me to where to put the focus. I need to go 10 away from the vertex to the right, like we said. So the focus is going to be right here. Now the focal width is 40. That means I need to go 20 up and 20 down. So um, that's going to be uh, way off the graph. So I'm not sure what to do about that other than to just make this huge like this. Do you have a marker for base out there? Is. Anyway, the focus is right here at um, 10, comma 0. The directrix should be the same amount in the opposite direction. So it'll be this vertical line over here at negative 10. So the directrix. is x equals negative 10. OK, finally, uh, we have one where the vertex is not 0, comma 0. Notice how the y is squared. That tells me that it's a sideways graph. Because the 12 is positive, I know it's going to be facing to the right. Now, the vertex is the opposite of both of these. But be careful. Um, 
the x value of the vertex is going to come from the x part of the equation. All right, even though they're sort of backwards. So that negative 1 is going to become a positive 1 in my vertex. This positive 2 is going to become a negative 2. Okay, the y part gives me the y value. So I have a vertex at 1 comma negative 2. Okay, so there's my vertex. Um, now let's find the p value. So 4p is equal to 12. That means p is equal to 3. So I'm going to go 3 to the right, like we said. So 1, 2, 3 to the right. So there's my focus. Okay, so I might as well record that. That's 4 comma negative 2. Meanwhile, the directrix should be 3 in the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the parabola is going to be wrapped around this direction. Oh, by the way, the equation of that directrix Um, vertical lines are always x equals, so x equals negative 2. Um, the focal width will help me draw the parabola better. The focal width is 12. So that's going to be up 6 and down 6. Okay. So that's it for number 11. All right, a few more examples. Um, the x is squared, so I know it'll be up or down. Because the 4 is positive, I'm thinking up. Now the vertex is going to come from here, opposite, opposite. So this is going to be 1, comma, 1. All right, so my vertex is going to be right there then. Um, now, time to find the p-value. 4p is going to equal this 4 right here, which means that p is going to equal 1 once you divide. So that 1 tells me to go 1 up for the focus. So my focus is going to be right there. Might as well write that down. It's 1 comma 2. Okay, now let's use the focal width is 4, so that means 2 to the right and 2 to the left. So here's my little parabola. And the, the directrix should be the same amount um, p-value in the other direction. So here will be my directrix. And that's the x-axis, or the line y equals 0. OK, that's it for number 12. Two more examples. I see the x is squared, so it's going to be up or down. Because the 12 is positive, I know it's going to be up. Um, now, the vertex. I can read right from here. So my vertex is going to be, um, well, 0 because um, it's just x squared. And then negative 3 because it'll be the opposite of that. So 0, comma, negative 3, there's my vertex. Now I will need the p-value to find my focus. So I know that 4p is going to equal this 12 which means that p um, is equal to 3, because you divide. So I'm going to go 3 up for my focus. So 1, 2, 3. So my focus is actually at 0, comma 0. All right. And that means my directrix will be down 3.
at y equals negative 6. Okay, the focal width is 12. That means at the focus, I'll go 6 to the right and 6 to the left for a total of 12. And there's my drawing. All right, let's do one more. Number 14. I see that the y is being squared. So that tells me it's either going to be left or right. It's definitely sideways. Because the 2 is negative, um, I know that this is going to go to the left. Now, meanwhile, I know what the vertex is going to be. All right, the vertex is going to be the opposite of these. But be careful. The x coordinate comes from the x part, not the y part. So this is going to be positive 2 comma positive 3 for the vertex. So that's 2 comma 3. It's right there. Now, for the focus, I need to know what the p value is. Um, but 4p is equal to negative 2. If I divide both sides by 4, um, that tells me that p is equal to negative 1 half. So that is interesting um, because that means as I go to the left, I'm going to go to the left one half of a square. So it's going to be really close. But my focus is going to be right there. Um, let's write that down before we forget. So um, my focus is going to be 1.5 uh, comma 3. Now, ignoring the negative sign, my focal width is 2. That means 1 up and 1 down. So this is a tiny little parabola. And my directrix should be um, p to the right. So that's half a unit to the right of the vertex. So my directrix should be right down the middle. Okay, and that's going to be okay, it's messing up a little bit. Um, so the directrix is going to be x equals um, 2.5. All right, I think that's going to do it for this lesson. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you on the next video.